Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Howie Combrink and today I am at the Ditsong Kruger Museum in Pretoria, South Africa. And it is really, really awesome here because I'm going to learn about the one Paul Kruger, President Paul Kruger from very, very long ago. I'm going to find out about his life. I'm going to go and see where he slept. I'm going to go and see the train he used to travel in. Well, he used to call it a tram. But let's go and let's find out some more. Wow guys, what a great day it's been. I could actually just sit here all day and play music. It's really fun. I actually played a couple of songs around the property. It's really beautiful here. So you guys should definitely make a plan to come and learn a bit of the history of the one Mr. Paul Kruger. It's been really interesting. You know, for one, I learned that uh, this house that, that I'm sitting in right now, this house was one of the first houses to be built with cement. But the interesting fact is that they built it with cement and a mixture of milk because they weren't quite sure what water would do to cement. That blew my mind because I never imagined that you could build a sophisticated building like this with cement and milk. Cement, obviously, but not the milk part of it. So that was so interesting. You know, we got to see where Paul Kruger sleeps. We got to explore the train. I actually sang a song on the train and that was really cool. You know, interesting thing is that he never called it a train. He called it a tram. I just found that very interesting. But the other really cool fact about this building, two very cool facts. The first one being is that this was the first electrified building in Pretoria. Not electricity as we know today, more electricity just for lights, but still it was the first electrified building in South Africa. There was a coal plant somewhere down the road here yeah, that used to then serve this building with electricity, serve the president's house with electricity. And that was so interesting and awesome because you know in this day and age we tend to not even think about things like that. The next thing that I discovered and that I saw, which to me personally was really cool, was the first ever phone in Pretoria, South Africa, which is really cool. And back in those days, that was the first phone. So if you were to contact the president, if you wanted to contact the president, you would have to phone the operator and then say, can I please speak to extension one? The president's extension in South Africa was one. And I thought that was really great. All in all, it was a really great experience to come and see the Ditsong Kruger Museum and come, come and learn what Paul Kruger did and how he lived his life and a little bit more about how he tried to lead and guide our country back in the day. 
Waza, Komyela, come guys, come and explore Ditsong Museums.